Hi everyone, it's Tammy and I have a pretty large sack here from Hobby Lobby and it is full of nice goodies. So let's get into it and see what in the world I have been up to. And I'm blaming this haul on my friend Tanya because she's the one who told me about it. <laughs> because all of the Paper Studio stuff was 50% off. Which we know happens periodically. They, they do offer that sale frequently, I would say. Um, it's kind of like the ribbon. I love to buy the ribbon when it's on sale. And it's on sale usually at least once a month. What is this? Mm, you'll see. Oh my goodness. Maybe I should take it all out before I show you guys, but I just can't help it. I get excited. And I have been home for quite some time. Actually, I I feel like it's the next day, and it is kind of. I mean, it is, I guess. So what I did was I came home from work yesterday. And before coming home, I actually stopped at Hobby Lobby, TJ Maxx, and picked up some Chick-fil-A for my husband and I. Okay. I'll stop making noise now. And then um, we ate, and we ended up talking almost all night. I mean, he didn't even turn on the TV, which is totally unlike him because he is a TV man. He didn't turn on the TV, so we just sat and talked, and it was fabulous. And I had this that I wanted to haul or do a video of, and I have a piece of mail that I need to do a separate video of. And then I got a Stampin' Up! order in that I may also do a video on. So I was like, oh, I have all these videos I need to do. But you know what? I so enjoyed talking with him. And I'm just now realizing that this is a little bit bent. But I think I'll be okay. Um, and this is something that Tanya got. And honestly, I enjoyed talking to my husband. So that was it was perfectly fine. It was just, you know, when you have something in your head thinking, okay, I'm going to go home and I'm going to do this and this and this and this. And then you go home and you, I literally did nothing. I kind of felt like, oh. So then I fell asleep in the chair. I didn't finish my story, I guess. I fell asleep in the chair probably about nine o'clock. He was working on a car thing, but he was still in the living room. The TV wasn't on. We were both just in the family room. And he was working on some car part and um, I fell asleep and about 10 o'clock he said, honey, do you want to go to bed? And I was like, no, it's okay. And he's like, well, I'm going to run and get some Sprite. He loves Sprite and he was out. And I said, okay. So when he came back, I was still asleep. And he even brought me a Polar Pop, which is super sweet of him. Um, and actually, I still have that in the uh, refrigerator because I didn't drink it. And then... Um, so I, I was still asleep and then probably about two o'clock he wakes me up and says, honey, I'm going to go to bed. Why don't you come with me? And I was like, oh, OK. So, you know, I was out of it. So now it is four o'clock in the morning and I'm up. So I came downstairs and this is what I'm doing. So there's the rest of my story. OK, so let's get started on the haul. This is something that Tanya had, and it is a recipe organizer three ring binder. This was on sale for 40% off, so it wasn't $24.99. It was however much 40% off is. And I I don't know if you saw my haul at Target, but I, I did a Target haul. Well, it looks like somebody like looked at this and messed it up a little bit, but that's okay. I won't complain. I'll be fine. <laughs> um, but I did a Target haul and I bought a recipe binder, one for my daughter and one for my son, so that I can put some of our family recipes in it. But Tanya had said that she was going to do this for like Christmas recipes, and then she purchased another one when we were at Target together. Um, that's what it was in that haul. And she's going to do Thanksgiving recipes and such. So I... I have no idea why my dog is barking at four o'clock in the morning. Ugh. Um, I'm sure the cats had something to do with that. Goodness. Okay, so huh, I'm just babbling and rambling. I apologize. So she gave me the idea of putting like just my Christmas recipes in here or just my Thanksgiving recipes in one or whatever. So this is probably going to be my holiday recipes, like my fancy kind of recipes or like my cookies and my um, banana 
not banana. Well, maybe banana bread. Maybe I can include that. But my pumpkin roll and pumpkin pie and my mom's recipes for some of those things. So that's what this is going to be. And so it has these stickers. And I love that it has the protective pages. I think that's awesome. So it has one sheet of stickers. The only time to eat diet food is while you're waiting for the steak to cook. No one is born a great, a great cook. One learns by doing. That is true. So there's that, and then it has an appetizer section, and you can see that it's kind of Christmassy. It has like the little wreath and the holly and the candy cane. So I don't know that, or the snowflake, I don't know that I could use this for every day. I don't know, maybe I could and just pretend like I didn't see that, or I don't know, but whatever. So there's the sections, breads, appetizers, breads. This is pretty. Soups and salads, side dishes, main dishes and desserts and then it has this which is a recipe conversion which is kind of cool and I haven't even looked over all of this and then this is just uh, if you're afraid of butter use cream <laughs> oh these are funny a party without cake is really just a meeting <laughs> that's hilarious so these are awesome I, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with these yet I was 32 when I started cooking up until then I just ate <laughs> um, Keep clip, clipped recipes here. Keep clipped recipes here. I mean, look how nice the pages are. They are foiled. They're very nice. So a bunch of pages for clipped recipes. I'm really not sure what you're supposed to do with these first sections um, of just pages. But I'm, I mean, I'm sure I'll figure it out. I'll do whatever I need to when I'm putting my recipes together and then it has recipe cards that are foiled and has the little holly on them I mean this is really nice for $25 it's nice and then for 40% off it's super nice so and all of them are you know in their own little page divider and there's a ton of these have longer see how it's like a longer version of the recipe and then there's the half pages Oh, I thought there were, yeah, and then here's the half pages. Isn't that cool? So, I don't know if you guys are interested in this, but I would say there were two left at my Hobby Lobby, um, and one was totally mangled, and then there was this one. So that's part of why I'm not really kvetching about this bend, which is obvious that it's bent there. But, oh well, I will be okay. And yeah, that's really nice. So I'm excited about that. Okay, so then what else did we get? I got some of these dress it up. I thought these were on sale, but when I got up to the register, they were not. So I'm almost nervous to, well, not nervous. I'm almost embarrassed to say I spent full price on these little buttons because I did not mean to. And not all of them were full price. Like these were half off and these were half off. And this is what started it. Okay, so this one's what started it. I saw these little cuppy, cu cuppy cups coffee cups and look how cute they are I mean it's just really cute and they're all in the same section so I saw these and I thought oh those are really cute so I picked up those and then I don't know what I saw next but these are all like next to them and I thought oh these are super cute so then I kept picking up ones thinking that they were all in the 40 or the 50 percent off section clearly these were not and when I get up to the register what I always do at Hobby Lobby is because, you know, if you guys don't have a Hobby Lobby or if you don't shop Hobby Lobby, what they do is they hand put everything in and they use some special code, probably whatever that is. It's not the SKU number usually, I don't think. I think it's like just a department code. They put that in there and then they put in however much it is and then put off, put in however much it is percentage off. Well, normally when I go to Hobby Lobby, I always get things that are on sale because, like I said, they have really good sales and you just need to keep going and keep going. So I always say to the cashier, please let me know if anything isn't on sale. And so when, you know, she got to these and she's like, honey, these aren't on sale. And I was like, oh, they aren't. I thought they were part of the 40%. I thought they were paper studio. And she's like, no, they're not. And I was like, oh, okay, well then whatever. I'll just take them anyway. So I think these were the only things maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I, I know I used my 40% off coupon and I did not get very much off. So, I mean, it was like, it would be like 40% off of one of these. So whatever I will use them in my flip books or my uh, mini books so that's what my plan was these are called tiny trunks aren't they cute my daughter loves elephants so that was cute this one is backyard buddies 
and it has a raccoon, a squirrel, a skunk, a beaver, and a rabbit. And I love that beaver. Actually, I love the rabbit too with his big old ears. And the they're all cute. This one is head over heels. And I know that this is the heel that I have on my planner clip. So I think that somebody made these into planner clips, which was cute, cute. And I'm like, oh, I could do the same or I can just use them in my pocket letters or whatever. And I got these bling butterfly crystals. I thought those were really pretty. And not all of them are buttons, even though it says butter buttons. Some of them aren't buttons. I think all of those were. Well, most of them are. These aren't. These are not buttons. These are not buttons. But even if they have the button, you can just clip that off. Now, these I know were 40% off because they were part of the Christmas section. And I thought these were cute. They're cookie cut. Oh, no, it's just one, I think. These are cookie cutters. Aren't they cute? I thought those would be fun in pocket letters or books. Of course, all of these. That's what I did this for. And um, those Christmas ones. So let's see what other buttons did I get. Oh, these cupcakes. Aren't those cute? Super cute. And these night blooms, just flowers. Um, oh, I got another thing of heels, I guess. These forest buddies that has a hedgehog. I had to get it. Isn't that cute? I might make myself a paper clip or something. I think I have a couple more. Uh, there's just another one of the hedgehog one. Maybe that's all. Okay, so now I'll show you this real quick. This is just some uh, sprinkles. What do they call these? Sequins. So there's trees and gold sequins and these big dots. Green. And then these say Merry Christmas. And then just red sequins. Again, all of this is like for pocket letters and such. I guess I don't have to keep saying that. I found some washi that I hadn't seen there and that I liked. I got three different kinds. These two are the same. One is for a friend. But they are um, succulents and then gold foil hearts. And the succulents have gold foiling in them. Aren't those cute? And then there's this washi. I think it says dreamer. And then it has the rainbow, which is really cute. And then this one says believe and then has crosses and it has believe in different fonts and they're all, these are um, foiled too. So very cute, very cute. I'm liking those. Um, let's see, I got these. I think I'm just going to make these into simple earrings for myself. I know that's kind of silly, but I love these bows. I thought they were so pretty. And they're gold and they're just gorgeous. I um, used to take, you know, those little small bows that are foiled and, you know, they're like real bows, but they're a little bitty. I used to take those and put those on earring posts and wear those as earrings. Now I really, I mean, and these will dangle a little bit. I'm like, now I could really wear some bows. I mean, these are like made for earrings or whatever you want them to be, but I would definitely make these into earrings. Or whatever, I guess. I wouldn't have to make them into earrings, but that's the way I see them. So I think I'm going to do that for myself. Um, let's, let me show you this. This, I thought, was adorable. It says, cold days deserve hot cocoa. And it's a huge, big mug. And it's kind of weird looking. And even the cashier was like, this is really awkward. Why would you, you know, I don't know. And I said, no, you use it to put your hand in. And it's like a warmer. It warms your hand with the hot cocoa. So you sip it like this. And she was like, oh, well, that's still kind of awkward. And I'm like, well, you don't have to use it. <laughs> I didn't say that, but you know, she was nice. I'm being mean. But um, I think these mugs are kind of cool. Actually, I have some that uh, a friend of mine purchased and gave to me. Why did I say it that way? That was weird. A friend had given me a gift of these mugs. And they're beautiful. They're like... I don't even, they're stoneware and they're just beautiful. And I'd actually kind of forgotten about them because I leave them on the top shelf and I only use them in the winter when I'm cold. In the morning, 
in the summertime, I don't get cold at all. So I don't really use the hand warmer repart. But these are, I mean, they're really nice and they do kind of help keep you warm. So I thought that Katie would like this. So what I'm going to do is fill this with hot cocoa or send hot cocoa with and some marshmallows and some peppermint sticks and um, send this to her in one of her care packages. Isn't that cute? I thought that would be a really cute idea. And it was $11.99, but it was 40% off of that. So whatever that is. They had some really cute containers that were made for, um, it, it, like one said hot cocoa, one said peppermint sticks, one said marshmallows. They were really cute. The hot cocoa one was $17.99 and then they went down from there. And I did not pick those up, but I was tempted to. But I thought, you know, she's not gonna use those in the dorm. She just, I don't know, I just don't think she would. So I got this and I'm very pleased. I love it. So I need to find a special place to put that so that I won't forget that I have it and I will not break it. So I have tons of stickers to go through with you guys. So I'm gonna try to do them in some sort of not order, but in some way. So I will do them like this. But first, let's talk about these. So uh, whenever they have these at 50% off, I usually end up picking up a box of them. I don't need any more. I have several. But because I'm doing the pocket letters and the flip books, these might come in handy. I'm thinking, I know that I, I don't know, I thought that I could use these as like some of the pages because they're so pretty. I love, I love these kinds of um, cards and they're kind of vintagey looking and they come with envelopes. So if you don't use the envelopes, you'll have them for other cards. Um, and they're so inexpensive. I don't really feel like I'm wasteful, but like th these are the, and like if you use it as paper, you get two like four by six almost pages of four by, they end up being an A2 size card. So it's four and a quarter by five and a half. And you get, well, how many? One, two, three, four, five, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 of them. So, I mean, really it's a good deal. And these are really cute, like vintage polka dots. And this one. And this one. Then there's this one. So I don't know. I thought these were really cool. Ooh, I love that one. And I could totally see me using these. So that's why I got these. And they're already kind of distressed and vintage looking. So you don't have to do much work. Oh, those are really pretty. And this one, last but not least. So really cute. You can make some really cute things with these. Or you can just use them as a card base. Or you can just use it as a card. It does. You don't even have to decorate it if you don't want to. Um, it's very pretty. So I guess I could have just read here. It says 50 cards. But um, yeah, that's what those are for. And then I picked up some Christmas ones too. And I even noticed there they had like tape going everywhere on these. I have no idea why. They only had two of this one left too and they both had tape everywhere so I didn't take it off there but I wanted to because it was weird like all just flopping around. Okay so these are the 12 days of Christmas box cards so I imagine that they have like 12 drummers drumming. I don't know but we'll, we'll see. I love this pattern. Love 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 this one so I don't know if that is one of the 12 days, I don't remember. I don't know. Maybe it's partridge in a pear tree. Maybe that's it. Um, here's just black and white stripes. You could use that for anything. So I don't know why it's called the 12 days of Christmas. It's just cute. And it's kind of vintage Christmas, which I adore. This one says very Merry Noel. Oh, how cute. Man. I mean, you could use these as your Christmas cards. Oh, it looks like I was gypped. I only have two of these. What in the world? Am I supposed to have five of each? Yes. 
What in the world? Somebody gypped me. And I only have three of the first one. Well, I am not happy with that. And then I only have three of this one. Somebody got in there and ripped us off. And this is a cute one, too. Like my favorite ones. Err. One, two, three, four, five. I got five of those. Those are cute. Five, ten. Yeah, I think I was totally gypped because you're supposed to have ten designs. And I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I do have ten designs, but I don't have five of each. That's crazy. Who does stuff like that? Here's some Christmas cards. Or Christmas trees. Have a klepto, klepto Christmas. Merry Christmas. Those are cute. Man, that just makes me upset. Those are cute little ornaments. They look like uh, 70s kind of ornaments. And merry and bright, they say. So those are cute. Did they even take the envelopes or just the card? One, two, three, four, five. Who does stuff like that? One, two, one, two. Well, that is a jip. Actually, well, this one isn't one of my favorites, but it is really cute, the, the uh, ice skaters. But this one is definitely one of my favorites, and I thought, well, why am I only getting three of them? But I thought, well, maybe that's all you get until I started going through, and I'm like, wait. I mean, that one and this one are definitely my favorites. <sighs> People. People, people, people. But they're still cute, and I'm not going to... Goodness. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to go to Hobby Lobby and tell them that I got ripped off. It's not their fault. I mean, heck, with all that tape on it, I wouldn't have thought anybody would have gotten into it. That's bizarro. Okay, sorry. I needed to drink the coffee. Let's get back to business. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, these were, I don't remember if these were on sale or not, but these are Brad's and they have the little, um, Halloween eyes. And I thought these were really funny. I could have used these on one of my mini albums and I just thought it was adorable. So I got these so I could have them for other mini albums. I got this one. This, these are just chipboard Santas. I don't know if they're adhesive. I don't think so. But they're just chipboard Santas. I should count them, make sure I have 20 of them. <laughs> I'm not going to, but I just wanted to take them out. <laughs> but I thought they were a pretty good deal. I mean, it's they're cute. And that's a cute Santa. And you do, you're, you're well, you're supposed to get 20 of them for $3.99, plus you got 40% off of all the Christmas. I got some ribbon for my books, and these were all 50% off. So these were all $2, or this one was $2.50. And I didn't probably need any more lace ribbon right now, but because it was on sale and I liked it, I got it. But this one is velvet, and I thought that this would match some of these pretty well. And this was just three different kinds of lace, and I thought, oh, that's pretty, so... I got that too. Although now that I'm looking at it, you only get three feet. <laughs> so you don't get very much. But so a yard of each. Well, that's a yard. So I guess a yard of each. Not Maybe not too shabby. So whatever. I, I will use those in my books. These I got for the book so I can put some little tassels on the bottom. I thought those would be fun. This I got for a friend who likes to sew. I thought that was cute. And this was not on sale. This was actually what I was intending to use my 40% off coupon for. But so, and it was only $2.99. So clearly I didn't save much, but oh well. This was 40% off and I love how big his nose is. I just thought that was adorable. 
move those up here so I can put these here. Um, these, again, adorable. <laughs> I could not help but get these giraffes. I love giraffes. I don't know why. I know I love hedgehogs too, but giraffes and hedgehogs are like two of my favorites. I have no idea why. Hedgehogs winning out, but they're just cute to me. And these are super cute with the fun little decorations on their bodies and the gemstones and flowers and just adorable. So I got those. Picked up these sticker abilities. Now these were all half off. Yes. So these instead of a dollar ninety nine were a dollar, and you get two sheets. And I thought that was cute. I liked the witch. Same with this. I love the potion bottles. They only had one of these, or I would have probably picked up two. This one was really neat with the candelabra. I can see these in mini books. Um. So I'm sorry I keep going from season to season and stuff, but this one was super cute. They are metal clips, so they're like paper clips, but they're fox. Little reindeer that are all glittery and jimmy. Aw. I'm trying to separate them a little bit. So I'll do Christmas and I'll do Halloween. Here's another Halloween. Just super cute stickers. Halloween gemstone stickers. Skull and crossbones. And some fun bats. And these have little gemstone eyes and they're all glittery. And these, same with the hats. And the spiders. And these say boo. And then these are just little spider webs. I should have picked up more of the spider webs because there's lots of spiders. Huh, I don't know. Um, this, I just thought, oh, I thought they'd be the same on both sides. Because usually they are. Well, darn, now I wish I would have gotten two because they're different. But these are just really cute. I kind of thought I'd give these to my daughter, but now that I see that they're different... I might keep it and then send her one, you know, like go and get another one and send her one then. But I'm going to have to look at these now because always in the past, what was on one side was on the other side. Yeah. So they tricked me, but I like it. Yeah, there's nothing the same, but they're very cute. Okay, so then all of these were 50% off too, and I got lots of different things. So now these are only one side, and you just get what you see here, but um, these are called Faith Phrases Floral, and these are just really nice. Each day is a gift to be opened with prayer. With God, all things are possible. Give thanks to the Lord, for the, He is good. His mercy endures forever. The Lord is my shepherd. When your heart is full of Christ, you want to sing. Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. I have loved you with an everlasting love. May the God of hope fill you with joy and peace as you trust in him. Be still and know that I am God, and we love because he first loved us. So those are all super, and I enjoy that. So I got those. And then these Christmas ones were just calling my name because they were so glitzy and beautiful. This dove, the Peace on Earth, really kind of sealed the deal for me, but I like the foil. These are called Ornate Christmas Foiled. This one, again, I thought of my daughter, so I actually did pick up two of these. So it says Free Spirit, Adventure, Dreamer, Wild and Free, Be Brave. And has just some beautiful things on it. These were adorable. And I thought these would go with the vintage cards that I purchased. Even though they weren't all there. Er, there's even one that kind of matches. Super cute. And these, the Santa is just great. Great. 
and it's almost like Santa through the years, but it's not, but it's super cute. Oh, I'm getting an air hole. There we go. This is adorable. It's foiled epoxy animals and TP, it says, but there's hedgy hogs. So I had to get those. Super cute. And finally, the last two things are both Halloween. I couldn't pass this up. I actually did try to pass it up. I had it out of my hand and then I put it back and then I came back to it and picked it up again, put it down, and then I went and looked at it again. And my rule is that if I touch something three times, it just means that I really want it. So just go ahead and get it, especially if it's on sale. So that's kind of my thing because I'll sometimes like fill my cart up with stuff and then be like, I don't really want this and I'll start putting things back or rethinking things. But if I really want it, I know that I'll like not want to do that. So that's how I kind of know myself to know what I really want and what I'm just going, oh, this is awesome. You know, sometimes I get caught up in the heat of it. I went to TJ Maxx, like I said, and I had this cool basket in my basket and I thought oh I'm gonna get this but I didn't find anything else so I ended up not getting that either because I was like well I'm not gonna stand in this long line for one $7.99 basket that I don't exactly need although I was in my head finding all these things that I could do with it but I figure I'll go back it wasn't on sale it was and when I go back if it's still there or something like it and I have other things to get then I'll get it so that's kind of how I ration things <laughs> But um, I thought these were really cute. These are foiled. They're called Jeepers Creepers foiled. So, yeah, super cute. So that's it, guys. Thanks so much for hanging with me. I know I rambled a little bit, but I got lots of good stuff. And I'll talk with you soon. I need to see what my dog is barking about. Bye.